What's up, guys? This is Archie. This is Skyler. Presenting you another commentary match. This is from the tournament finals match of the Monday Night Comment Uber Entertainment Dev hosted tournament. This is the second match. Everybody get this spot. There we go. Left. We're going right. We're up one zero. Right. Oh, left. Following Skyless, he's playing support. I'm playing tank. TLR Cloud. I'm sure, you guys might know him from the Gears of War commentary. Um, last season, he's playing a sniper. Cali North is playing a sniper. Wraith is playing a assassin, and uh, Phobos is playing gunner. And I love this map. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we start with a 4-2, so we run four people go left and two people go to the right, just trying to hold down the lane. Right. Here, I'm going to get a kill on the gunner, which oh, was had been right on the edge. He backed up right into it, and we're going to get a strong push into the base here. We honestly thought this was over in about two minutes. Yeah, look at all these gremlins. It's all over. And we get down the turret, and he kills the guy. And and at this point, I see the gun. I see the gremlins running towards me. I wonder what's going on. And they were running towards that gunner who was tearing me up in the back. Right. And he actually got three kills there. So the funny thing about this is Skyler's is screaming, "It's over! This is like a pub room." <laughs> I did not. <laughs> yeah. Right. But no, we seriously thought the game was over uh, within the first what 50 seconds in that opening rush. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't last much. But. They certainly yeah, avoided it in a left now. We got left. We're getting yeah. left. <laughs> of epic proportions. <laughs> uh, the other team, Fojib, uh, and Espanso, those are two of the top guys on the Monday Night Combat ladder. Both level 99. Uh, the other guy's level 97. I think it was uh, the healer. I believe so. A spence just plays gunner. Fojib is an assault. They have a uh, sniper, one support. And what am I missing? Another gun. Another gunner. Here, Foja is attacking our, uh, our money ball. He's attacking the turrets. I really shouldn't have even bothered. The funny thing is, he's attacking those turrets. They never get to our base to even... Their bots never get even close to our base. So it's like he's out of play right now, and it's 5 and 6. Right. For well, most except for if I hadn't attacked him. Right, if you hadn't attacked him. This is why I said I really shouldn't have. But at the same time, him being outside of our base hurts our access to the Annihilator, which is coming up in a minute. Right. So Danny does, or uh, Phobos does get the kill there on him. And I'm looking down. Uh, since Foja flew over the top, I'm setting my turret here and hacking it so that if he flies over, the turret will take him out. That was my plan with that. Although I'm pretty sure they just end up killing it real quickly. Yeah, I was trying to drain the gunner from what mid. Again, you see gremlins just screaming down the lane. Every time Wraith spawns, he's, he spawns either one or two waves of gremlins. But we need help killing the bots at this point. Right. Okay. And I actually yell for someone to come help me since support is awful taking yeah. out bots. Yeah. And now we're going to start another push on this side. Again, we have four people pushing this side. And it's basically just a reset of the opening. If you guys are wondering, it's Cloud and myself uh, playing that right side. So... And we get a lot of sniper angles by having a sniper on each side. Right. And a tank on the right side, too, so they can shoot across and help a lot. And Wraith actually sat invis on the Annihilator there and got the press. Since uh, they couldn't push out of their base. As you can see, they're dropping like flies right now. Again, we outslayed them pretty heavily, as you can see. I mean, from start to finish, it's been pretty one-sided. Um, if you guys aren't aware, there is host advantage in this game. And the first match was on their host, and the second match is on our host. So I should, I should point that out. Here, I'm going to chase him down. <laughs> wow. And then I'm mashing uh, my right bumper, just tactical setup for the airstrikes. And again, just like in the first map, I was just trying to get damage on that ball. As long as the ball keeps on getting damaged, we're going to win the game. Right. It's already at half. 50%. It's, it's just falling fast. You guys saw that timer. It's 11 minutes into the game. Or, uh, I'm sorry, about four minutes into the game. And here, I'm sitting at 100 less than I need for juice, so I go ahead and attack Bullseye. Usually, I wouldn't bother in a scenario like this, but I knew that if I could juice into the base, it would finish off the game. So I went ahead, bought the juice, and immediately started running up. Keep the damage flowing. Keep it flowing. And it's been undamaged for a little while. So I made sure I got in there real quick. And now it's pretty much over. 
As you can see, they're just trying everything they can to try and stop this final push. But that's it. That's it. Sorry, the commentary was so quick, but <laughs> can't help it sometimes. Yeah. As you see, Arctic went five, nine, and one, and Cloud went six, eight, and one on that right side. They didn't even get pressured at all over there. Just dropping people. Yeah. And the only person that went positive on their team was a spent. Which again, he's getting followed by a healer. Right. Just take it for what you will. All right, that's it. And we went in and said good game. And that's it for the tournament. We won 2-0 in the finals. Yeah. And we're winning Assault Statues signed by all the developers. And we'll probably be bringing you more gameplay of Monday Night Combat in the future. Yes. Right, Thanks, thanks, Uber. Guys. Thanks, Uber. Thanks for watching.